hand over to Tim now, who's with the boys, next to a washing machine. I am. The boys yeah. are with me. The boys from Blue. Simon, it's Anthony, it's Duncan, and it's Lee, and Simon. Woo! What the heck are you shaking? What is that? A spray paint? Oh, no, it's, <laughs> not. it's uh, my protein shake. That looks like the pink medicine you used to get when you were a kid. Tim. Is, it, is it for bad digestion? Tim, could you start the interview? <laughs> Guys, good to see you again. Very nice to see you back. It's been quite a while. Well, not so much for you, Duncan, because we spoke to you about Legally Blonde not so long ago. Did you ever think you'd see this day again, Simon? I knew it was inevitable. Why? Because we always plan to come back for a 10-year anniversary and do something special for it. And um, obviously because of the West End shows that we all were doing at the time, it just didn't allow us to get together. But now it's perfect time. Whose idea was it then to get you back together? I mean, how did it all come about, Lee? We talked about it for a long time, but... We started recording and then there was other things that we decided to do and I had my solo stuff and Duncan went into Legally Blonde but we kept on recording. We always said, yeah, come on, we've got to get back together and we've got to start doing stuff and trying to get all four of us in one room was always difficult but we're very much together now and back in the studio recording for the album. But when they first uh, mooted Eurovision, Anthony, what did you think immediately? No, we don't want to do Eurovision, we'll get back together, yeah, but that's perhaps not the right vehicle to do it with. Obviously you're going to have them doubts, you know, the disadvantages and advantages and us as a band, you know, we're so close so we sat down and spoke about it and the thing was you can't get a better platform than what we're going to be doing on May the 14th in Dusseldorf representing the UK to 125 million viewers it's showing Europeans and, and here in the UK that blew are back but recently the UK's not done all that well I mean how are you going to turn that around uh, Duncan I mean historically the UK hasn't done too great in the Eurovision over the last maybe 10 yeah. years or so but what we found we've been traveling around Europe every weekend now in different country promoting and these countries take it really seriously it's a really big deal for them i mean this is a competition that's been going from the 50s so if it was really that naff and that cheesy i think it would have finished by now but it doesn't it seems to be getting bigger and bigger each year and the countries are coming on board and of course like germany won it last year which was a, a huge thing because a lot of people thought the germans would never win it because it's a political event but they did and i think the fact that we're representing the uk this year there's been a lot more positivity from Europeans that the UK is yeah. taking it seriously. And, and you guys are second favourite, right? We was at 25 to 1 with the bookies about a um, month ago, yeah. five weeks ago, um, and now we're 6 to 1. From what we're told, in the ballpark, they normally get it right. Hey, Simon, when was the last time you guys were back together? 2005? 2005, 2005 is when we did our last tour, yeah. And, yeah. Um, so it's been, what, six years now? Was it difficult to get that dynamic back, do you think, Duncan? I wouldn't say it was difficult, but what I think it was was it was a big wake-up call that we'd been apart for so long and got back together and it felt like just yesterday we'd split up but there was this whole gap and we need to find that blend that we once had that's been quite an interesting process but what's been great for us not only the Eurovision but the whole fact that we're making this album and that we've worked with some really top producers and I think everyone's going to be really surprised when they hear that album because it's the best album we've done. If you appear live, will you still do All Rise? Because that's my favourite. <laughs> We're just about to go today and do a record uh, an acoustic version of All Rise for the single, actually. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we're just doing that today. We're just going to put it down with us just singing a cappella, all four of us doing it. If it all goes well and, and Eurovision goes well and the album goes well, out on tour, maybe, Anthony? Absolutely. Blew it back for good. We can't wait to be going out there and touring again and going to Europe and going to Asia and Australia and places like that. But we had a big following, so we can't wait to be going out there next year and, and doing a blue tour, definitely. We've got lots of stuff going on. We've got a documentary coming out with Saturday. The, uh, on Saturday, this Saturday. The, there's so many things that you do with being in this job. There's tours, campaigns that you get to go on, making albums, doing concerts. There's so much to do, and it's a great time to be back. A lot of people think that this interview is being done in the uh, green room. In fact, it's being done in a lingerie <laughs> right next to a dryer. Hang on. I'm just going to get the smalls out. Yeah, you can, you can, can hear that. Can you hear that dryer? Now we can still hear that dryer. It's, it's right next to it. I Can, the new single from Blue, is released on May 1st. It's good to see you guys back together again. Good luck for us in uh, Eurovision. Uh, very best of luck. Ladies and gentlemen, Blue. Right for Blue.